So the question asks about the Starship Enterprise, which comes out of warp drive, and there's another ship in front of it. So the Starship Enterprise is going 50 kilometers an hour, uh, I mean a second, while the Klingon ship is going only 20 kilometers a second. So the Enterprise reacts instantly uh, to break the ship. So the question asks, what magnitude of acceleration does the Enterprise need to barely avoid a collision with a Klingon ship? So this uh, problem reinforces the idea of um, constant acceleration, which is a type of motion, and the idea of problems that are one-dimensional motion, where it's there's only one direction, I mean, where there's only two directions. Um, so here I drew what it looks like. So there's the Starship Enterprise going 50 kilometers a second, um, and the Klingon ship going 20 kilometers a second with 100 kilometers between them. So these are the equations we can use for constant acceleration. And a position versus time graph over here would look like this. The Klingon ship uh, starts at a higher position and goes at a constant rate. So that's a straight line, while the Starship Enterprise starts out faster and then starts to slow down like that before they touch. So to solve the problem, our strategy is going to be reference frames. So we are going to take 50 minus 20 and get 30 kilometers a second. And in relation to the Klingon ship, the Starship Enterprise is only going 30 kilometers a second and must reach zero kilometers a second. Um, in reference to the Klingon ship, the Klingon ship is going zero kilometers a second because we're referencing, referencing that. So we use the equation Vf squared equals Vi squared uh, plus 2as here. Uh, plug everything in, the velocity final, which is zero that we know, um, then the velocity initial, which is 30, and then 2as. Uh, after uh, simplifying this a little bit, we can get minus 900 equals 200a, uh, do a little bit of algebra here, and then get the final uh, answer of acceleration equals minus 4.5 kilometers a second squared. So the acceleration needs to be have a magnitude that's larger than 5.5 kilometers a second squared. So this can also be done with straight variables, with vf squared equals vi squared plus 2 a s. So by manipulating this algebraically, we can do the i squared equals to a s. Um, and then finally, we just get v f squared minus v i squared over to s equals a. And if we plug in all these variables, we can also find a that way. So there is a very, very common mistake when solving this problem. So a lot of people will set the initial speed as 50 and the final speed, which is as 20, uh, which gets the answer of minus 10 meters a second squared. Um, this is not correct because this assumes that uh, the distance stays constant because it doesn't account for the Klingon ship constantly traveling 20 meters a second that way. And making the distance longer. So um, this this idea uh, is that it'll start at 50 km slash s uh, and then end at 20 km slash s with only 100 km in between. Um, and that's not true. Uh, this 100 uh, kilometers is not, that's not the the true uh, distance um, that it travels. So because of that, we have to use reference frames. And when we do use reference frames, uh, we have 50 and we have 20, right? And then when we take 20 out of 50, we essentially account for the Klingon ship constantly traveling this way by using reference frames. So eventually we get 30 km second 
and that is how we can solve it.